guys, welcome back to another Swift tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at gesture recognizers. Uh, as the name implies, it's a way where you can recognize taps and swipes and other fancy gestures on anything in your app. So with that being said, make sure you smash that like button below for the YouTube algorithm and let's start off with a brand new Xcode project as always. So we're going to stick with a single view application and we're going to call it gestures, save it wherever you'd like and expand that Xcode window to give yourself a little bit more room to work. And let's jump right into it. So as I mentioned, gesture recognizers are a good way to capture uh, user input on something in your app that may not be easy to capture user input on. So for example, a button is something that obviously you can capture user input via the action that you add to it. But let's say like you had a UI view, which is just a rectangle and you wanted to know if the user tapped it or swiped on it. How would you do that? So there's this entire concept of the responder chain in iOS, which is a little antiquated and it's easier just to work with gesture recognizers. So that's what we're gonna go through today and do a couple examples. So first and foremost, let's create a view and throw it onto our screen. And we're gonna do this in code and not the storyboard. So let's do let my view equals UI view. We're going to give it a frame with a rectangle. And we'll do 0, 0, 200, 200. Let's do my view dot background color. We're going to make it red. And let's center it by doing uh, its center assigned to the view center. And last but not least, let's add this to our sub view as a sub view to our view like so hit command r and let's build and run this app on our simulator and make sure up here you have a simulator selected and not your actual plugged in device like i have hit command r once more and we should see it pop up in a quick second here like so and let's start adding gesture recognizers to this red square as soon as it decides to show up. Like so. Okay, cool. So let's say we wanted to capture when a person taps on it. What we can do is we can create a uh, gesture recognizer. Hopefully I spelled that right. And I believe it's called a UI tap gesture recognizer. And we can initialize it with a target, which in this case will be self, and some function that we want to fire when this gesture recognizer uh, gets captured. So we're going to do uh, func, let's see, gesture fired, and in here we can pass in the gesture, which is a UI tap gesture recognizer, and in the selector up here we can do gesture fired, like so. And we need to do a couple things, right? So first we need to say gesture recognizer. Because it's a tap gesture, we need to specify how many taps. So number of uh, taps required, we're gonna say one. And let's copy this again, and we're gonna say number of touches required is also one, whoops. And another thing we need to do is actually apply this gesture to the view. So we're gonna say my view, add gesture recognizer and pass in this guy like so and something which is a, a gotcha a couple times i've noticed with people that they forget to do is make sure that the thing you're adding a gesture recognizer on has the user interaction property set to true in other words if it's not set to true it's not going to pick up any gestures so we're going to do my view dot user interaction enabled is true and in this function, we're just going to print out um, gesture fired. So let's open up our bottom window here. And let's get rid of this left side by hitting that. Hit Command R. Hopefully we didn't forget to do anything. 
This is yelling at us for some reason because we need to prefix it. Objective C, I believe. Yep. And let's hit Command R once more. And we'll see once we single tap, we get our print. Now, what if we wanted to capture a double tap? So a good example I like to give is the Instagram app. When you double tap a photo, you like it, right? So the way they actually implement that is a gesture recognizer with two taps. So simply what we can do is change this to two and two. And once we tap this once, nothing will happen as you'll see. Nothing happens. I don't know. Well, it's hard for me to show you guys because you don't see me clicking, but if I do it twice, nothing still happens. And I think the reason is number of touches is supposed to be one because the number of touches is a singular place you're touching and it should be two taps there. Well, there we go. So one touch with two taps, as in you have one finger on the screen and we get our print statement like so. So those are tap gesture recognizers. Now let's work with swipe gesture recognizers. And I haven't worked with those in a while, so this will be a nice, uh, nice little refresher for myself also. So UI swipe gesture recognizer, similar to tap. It takes a action and a target. And we're gonna say gesture fired. And this is gonna turn into UI swipe gesture recognizer. And we need to do a couple things on here. So we need to say, I believe direction. And let's do right. And what else? Do we need to do number? I believe we do. Number of touches required is one. And we're gonna do number of taps, number of Nope, that's it, number of touches required. That's all we need. So basically when the user swipes right on the view, left to right, we're gonna fire this gesture and we're gonna print gesture fired. So if we build and run, if we tap, nothing should happen. But if we swipe, look at that, we get our print statement. And if we do it down, nothing happens. Left, nothing happens. Up, nothing happens. So this is strictly for right. The last thing I'll touch on before concluding this video is this parameter of the actual gesture that we're passing into this function that gets fired. Um, what the heck is the point of this? Why is it useful? So the point of it is uh, you get a reference to which gesture uh, fired this function. But more importantly, what you can access through this gesture reference is on what view did the gesture take place? So what you can do is you can say, let um, view that fired gesture equals gesture dot view, I believe. Yep, you can say gesture dot view. And if you think about the Instagram example we talked about, um, if Instagram wanted to find out which picture a user double tapped on, they can get it through the gesture. So just to show that this is the same view, we're gonna say this dot background color equals blue. So once the user swipes right on this, we're gonna change the background color of that view to blue. And let's see, it's not turning to blue. And let's see, the reason for that should be because it copies the reference, but let's double check. So, this is an optional, so we're going to say this as a UI view. Let's get rid of this question mark and try that once more. And we still actually do not get it changing. Let's see, force cast of UI view only, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that's, uh, let's see. We're going to do if let fire view equals gesture dot, is it gesture view? I thought it was view. I'm pretty sure. The view that the gesture recognizer is attached to. Yeah, that looks right to me. And then in here, what we can do, let's set the background color to blue. 
and it should set it to blue. There we go. So I don't know why that wasn't working the first time. Anyways, so basically we're doing an if let to uh, unwrap the optional of the, of the view that the gesture is attached to. And in that block, we're saying change that view's background color to blue. So let's see that once more. If we build and run, starts off as red. And if I swipe down, nothing happens. Swipe left, nothing happens. Up, nothing happens. Double tap, nothing. But if I swipe right, well, apparently I can't swipe right on it. Once more, let's swipe right on this. And we get it turned to blue. So cool. So as you kind of just saw, gesture recognizers can be a little tough to test in the simulator because you're clicking and dragging or you're tapping. Uh, but they definitely do work. I do promise you that. So that's how you guys can implement gesture recognizers, either a tap or a swipe. And they there are a bunch of interesting use cases for why you would want to use them. And uh, you'd be pretty surprised to find various places that app developers, big and small, have implemented them for a variety of reasons. Uh, and even including Apple for that matter. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you haven't already, hit that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe if you're new for daily Swift videos. I will catch you in the next one.